if there's a seat that's next to me and no one's there, you know what I would do? I would pull up the armrests and make that my bed. If I'm in economy, I just umped my experience a tad bit. And you could take a number one and you could take a number two. If you get your period on the actual flight, do not worry, never. I never did that. But do you know, you could take a shower at the airport. Wait, how does that even work? I feel like flying, when you're flying, you want to try and make it as comfortable as it can be for yourself. So yes, I would do that. Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Diana. On this channel, we talk about travel, travel experiences. There's so many flight secrets or flight tips that a lot of people do not know. And I picked out some interesting questions about what you can and cannot do on a plane and in an airport. And I'm gonna answer a bunch of them. The way this is gonna work is I'm going to phrase it as a question and then I'll answer it based on my experience or based on my research. And I think a lot of you guys will love some things that I discovered. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe and let's get started. So the first question, can you ask for more than one meal or snack? Yes, you can definitely ask for extra snacks, extra water, extra meals. I've actually done this. For a while, I did Qatar Airlines and they have really good bread and I just really love bread and I would ask for like two extra pieces of bread. I think for some flights, the snacks are unlimited. I do want to say for the meals specifically, maybe also be prepared for a no. Standard wise, they're meant to give you like one meal, but I think for sure you can always ask. Chances are if you ask politely, then it's a yes. I've asked multiple times and I've gotten yeses. I think the trick is to be polite about it, but yes, you can for sure ask for extra snacks or an extra meal. The second question, if you don't want to eat airport food, can you bring your own? Yes, you could for sure bring your own food to eat on the plane. You can bring your own solid food from home and eat it on a flight. Liquids, not so much. And you could bring snacks. You could shop for snacks before going to the airport. You could also shop for food in the airport, especially after passing security. Anything you buy and go into the plane, except alcohol. I don't think you could bring alcohol from outside, but if you want your coffee, maybe there's a really good Chinese spot at the airport and that's what you want to eat, you could bring that on the plane. You wanna be careful and mindful of like other people, but also go for it, go get it. Okay. Third question can you request medicine if you are sick some airlines will have access to over-the-counter medicine if you do like mention or go up front to the crew member and say hey I'm having a headache or I'm having like a stomach ache or I'm having or I'm cramping some airlines do allow for the crew members to give you painkillers some on the other hand require a doctor to be on board to prescribe the actual over-the-counter medicine to you my personal experience and I forget the airline but I've requested like some painkillers and I did get some painkillers. It depends on the airline, but again, feel free to ask. I don't think it's as common, but I don't I wouldn't say it's not doable. Of course, you could always ask politely. I know for sure that if you need tampons or you need earplugs, toothpaste, toothbrush, they have them on board, they can give that to you. If you get your period on the actual flight. Do not worry, they have tampons and pads stuck up and you could ask for that. I will say to always be safe, always have painkillers with you when you are traveling because you never know. Especially if you're like someone who experiences nausea, bring like some nausea medicine or some ginger, the actual ginger root or some ginger candies. Oh, this one is a fun one. Can you take a number two on a plane? Yes, you can. You could take a number one and you could take a number two. As long as you leave the toilet seat clean, then hey, nature calls. You know, that's actually funny because I think for a while and for a long time, I never, I never did that just because I was like, wait, how does that even work? If you feel like you're not comfortable with toilet seats on the plane, help yourself to the toilets in the airport. But sometimes, especially if you're on a 16 hour flight, you do need to use the bathroom. Yes, you can absolutely take a number two on a plane. What about showering? Do you know you could take a shower at the airport? They have small like spas and shower stations where you go and pay. I remember I was at the Hamad International Airport and I paid $15 to take a shower. 
and they give you a towel, they give you lotion, they give you like shower products and they give you two hours. It's a really hot, good shower. If you've had a long flight, sometimes between the layovers, you just want to refresh yourself. You don't have to be a first class business class person, but also you just have to make sure that your airport does have shower stations. I went ahead and Googled some airports that do have, and I'll put them right here. On the other hand, if you are qualified to get into lounges, some lounges for the most part nowadays have shower stations where you could shower. So yes, you could take a shower at the airport. Number six. Can you stand and walk around the plane? Yes, you can. You don't have to always sit on your seat for the whole time that the plane is flying. My left leg gives me issues when I'm flying. So normally on long flights, I will stand and walk around. Sometimes between sections, there's extra space where you could just linger and talk to a fellow passenger or you could talk to a crew member. Just make sure it's not during like taking off or landing. You can stand and it's actually advisable if you're doing like long flights for you to stand and like give yourself some wiggle room on the plane number seven can you take the seat next to you if it's empty i will say yes if there's a seat next to you or two seats next to you and you're in the air and no one's claimed them if there's a seat that's next to me and no one's there you know what i would do i would pull up the armrests and make that my bed if i'm in economy i just umped my experience a tad bit of course like being respectful to the other person this is something you can do and i don't think a lot of people actually know that you can do that but yes you could take the seat that's next to you if no one's claiming it i feel like flying when you're flying you want to try and make it as comfortable Comfortable as it can be for yourself so yes I would do that number eight how do you freshen up on a plane if you're staying somewhere or if you're seated somewhere for 16 hours you want to be fresh when you land I actually do have a freshening up kit when I'm traveling in this little kit I put a small tube of toothpaste small disposable toothbrush I would bring my face mask sometimes since I'm just seated on the plane doing nothing, might as well have my face mask on. I have my lip balm there, moisturizer just so that your lips are not chapped. I'll bring an extra underwear, small sized deodorant, some socks. If you do forget your toothpaste or your toothbrush, you could ask for one from the crew and they could give you one. When they announce, hey, it's an hour before the flight lands or the plane lands, just go to the bathroom. You know, do your little brush your teeth if you can. Use bottled water. Don't use the water on the sink. Put your like little perfume on, some deodorant. Yeah, have like a small little refreshing kit if you can with small sized items. You can find a lot of these items at supermarkets. It's helpful if it's in a clear bag because it's easy to get past security. If not, you can have a piece of like mint gum for your fresh breath when you're landing. This one is not a question. It's more so advice. Someone commented and said, avoid the middle seat. How can you avoid the middle seat? Because that's the seat number or the type of seat you'll get if you're not either A, choosing your seat. Sometimes choosing your seat requires for you to pay extra money, especially when you're booking. I'm not for that because there are ways around it. So I would say if you have a bad seat when you have booked the flight and you don't want to pay that extra cash and you want to avoid the middle seat because that's what you'll get if you don't reassign, 24 hours before your flying time, they open the gates for check-in if you are traveling internationally maybe sometimes you're not able to check in fully but the least you could do is modify your seat number on your flight 24 hours before your flight they open the website for checking in go and modify your flight and at that point you don't need to pay any money this is mostly for american flights but for other flights around the world you don't need to pay anything sometimes too you can politely ask the crew member hey can you actually shift my flight number it's probably safer if you do this when you are checking in your luggage at the very beginning rather than when you're at the gate it doesn't hurt to ask but that's how best you avoid the middle seat so that's what i had today thank you so much for joining thanks for listening thanks for being part of this channel please don't forget to subscribe and if you have any more questions any more tips do share that down below bye